Yo, so uh, go and give me a little bit of a shock in a man over there so we don't never bang a video for you. It seems so they don't work with one another one. Today I'm going to show them some more achievements to the camera and I'm going to find it anyway. They seem to perform this like the video where I'm just going to turn up your mini or less. You understand? So first of all, I give a special thanks to all those who support the channel. All those who have been following from the year and all those who are new to the channel. You understand? Love you know, thanks so much for the continued support by liking the video and commenting, but I really appreciate you guys. Big up on yourself, you see me? Next up on the list, but I'm more upgrade the channel where we we'll go to the dealership them and private individual and do some live action we'll record it, video the vehicle, show you guys, show the pros of the vehicles and the cons of each vehicle. And that time similar to the video that I did a couple of months ago, the mother one dealership plan and showing the vehicles that are available here. But as you guys know, the whole production of the channel has been up to me so far, you understand? Everything the video, them, getting the production gear, them, you see me, everything, even filming and all of these things, and me alone, the writers right now are filming them, you see me, I So, if you don't want to help out the channel, brother, you see me, I can't take on a project like that, going to the dealership, them, and filming and all of them things, them. It will cost a little bit more out of my financial. So, if you don't want to support the channel, brother, then you can do it by going to the cash shop right here. You see, anybody will do it over 20 dollars brother is me and you we got a special show to and you get help from me personally to find a vehicle if you are actually looking for a vehicle this me and you so you're big up on yourself for me to start this video right here right now Okay, so here we have a 2008 Nissan Note. This one sells for 499,000. Call it five bills flat. You understand? We could get a Nissan Note for a little cheaper than this. Because this is a little bit high, but it does look pretty clean. So, what we are going to take a closer look at it and see how it looks. You see me? So, straight up at the back, you can tell you the exterior vehicle here looking pretty good. Like, really good. The paint is looking good. It have a little scuff mark right there, but the headlight is pretty clear on this vehicle. You see me? The interior right here is looking pretty good as well. And the seats are looking good. Dashboard is looking pretty solid. Yeah, it does look pretty good and you can see that this is the nicer these are the nicer note them because you can see the little key fob thing right there you see me this is not the normal key thing we put in there and this is not a physical key this is more like a key fob thing and you just turn that to start you see me so this is the nicer note thing you see me and the interior again looking pretty okay not not the usual there back seat here here looking pretty good as well not not the usual there we're not seeing the signs of damages from the seat the storage area right here the trunk area right here looking pretty good as well not not the usual there you see me and the side of the vehicle here looking pretty good like really good but something is a little bit half you know car where we are looking right here so the side of the headlight there does look a little bit foggy though and it never do look so foggy at the front i don't know what i go on there you know comment in the comment section your suggestion or what i go on but i'm not sure what i go on but it does look a little bit foggy from the side right there the side again right here looking pretty okay not not the usual there when you see the signs of damages you see me on the back here right here looking pretty good not not the usual there it does have on a reverse camera right there which is a plus you see me on the side of the vehicle right here have a small small scuff mark right there but nothing really major you see me and again the front of the vehicle looking really really good so i don't know what one maybe just the angles are what but on the side of the vehicle it did look like say your the headlight was a little bit faded so i don't know what one this so but if you are interested in this nissan no 2008 for 499 call it five years flat here is the contact number you see me? but me the half of them like a four bees like really and true me the half of them four bees and maybe even 450 if it's really clean and engine and transmission is really good but anyways we are gonna move on to the next one okay, so here we have a 2007 honda stream you see me? this one sells for 790,000 you see me and them honda streamer is kind of a popular vehicle like people really do like this honda stream and they are seven seaters you know man and sometimes people set them on that streamer you see me some usually them on that streamer tend to sell for a little bit more money like actually a lot more money enough you know, to tell you the truth but yeah we could probably get it cheaper you know, meaning say if we did search around little more we could find them for like six plus somewhere around there if we really try to search around but here is one selling 790 so i'm gonna start me sure because it is available right now you understand so straight up at the back you can just the front of the vehicle looking relatively okay the headlight is a little bit faded and it does look like to have a small body work mark right there you see me the side of the vehicle here looking really really good like really clean paint is looking good the two back glass them is tinted and the front glasses are clear you see me the back glass right here is tinted as well and the paint on the vehicle is looking pretty good no signs of damages in the back area right there you see me and the interior right here looking super clean like very clean dashboard looking pretty good door covers are okay seats are in pretty good condition yeah man but we can say this is not really the sport one because you have the under string them have that paddle shift behind it and have some button panel steering which is a quick way to know if i really sport which one them but this are not really a sport which one them but again it is still the honda stream you know, and it is looking in pretty good condition you see me so we are continuing and the seat again is looking in pretty good condition not not the usual the seats are okay no signs of damages there 
back seat here yeah, right here looking pretty good the back seat again looking pretty good roofing on the side looking real good it does have on some aftermarket wheels right there yes man this vehicle does look pretty good you see me so yeah as far as we can see we can see no damages on the vehicle except for the front here right here we can see a small body work mark right here and we can see the headlight could do with a buff and polish you see me I don't know if I paint strip this out right there I can't tell but yeah this is all the pictures that we have on this vehicle and again this is a Honda Stream selling for 790,000 a year 2007 you see me the person said 2007 everything works RSV nice car here is the contact number if you are interested in this vehicle but we just got to move on to the next one okay so here we have a nissan sunny 2004 selling for 270,000. the first said engine and transmission solid selling as is where is papers are up to date buy and drive but we are going to take a closer look and straight after the back we can see the front of the vehicle looking a little bit scuffed up the front bumper look a little bit scuffed up but this picture is pretty small you see me the side of the vehicle again looking a little bit arc i do like to have some sink map on the front door right there and the back glass and the front glass the thing them doors and mash me and wag one right there so you understand the interior here looking relatively okay look a little bit dirty you see me besides from that when i see nothing else out of the region and again something really off right now if you look on the back seat right there so you see me and then we look on the next seat right there. all the seat them not match me no know what one this doesn't even look like the interior of that car this is like a pro box back seat here i mean no what one right there so yeah so this is a little bit sketchy you know man. i mean i understand what i want right here so you see me say here i'm not bad i show you know, the contact number for this vehicle we just got to move on to the next one okay so here we have a 2004 nissan frontier you see me this one sent for 650,000, but at the end of the day it's a pickup you know man a pickup stand for self a little bit more money than usual you see me so straight off at the back we can't the front of the vehicle here look a little bit scuffed up like the front bumper is the slightest bit scuffed up and the headlight is slightly faded on this vehicle the side of the vehicle here looking relatively okay this paint is looking pretty smooth on the vehicle right there the back here looking relatively okay we can see the tail light right there is broken you see me and the other tail light is faded you see me like sunburn or that you see me the interior right here looking relatively okay you see them look worn but the dashboard does look pretty solid they understand and it is a full gearbox vehicle you know man but I, again you would expect that from a pickup you see me so again the interior right here looking relatively okay when i say not not the usual there it does look like that mr wind up with the wind and the door angle right there look a bit cock off so you know it does look like they want some fixing up so i mean and the engine bay right here really and truly i don't like how the engine bay right here looks you see me because we can see one back of aisle on the top of the engine right there you see me we can see some aisle around the brake booster right there you see me and the overall engine bay is pretty dirty you see me like really dirty and we can't begin to talk about all of them like a wire here with me i see so i not really me no know me no know me no know where you would think comment in the comment section me not like how the engine be upon this look you see me i did but yeah the back seat here here looking relatively okay so me no know what to say about this okay so if you are interested in this 2004 nissan frontier see me selling for 650 000. Here is the contact number, then said the price is negotiable, you know, so you could probably get it for a little cheaper. But I don't know what you think about this vehicle because, again, it is a pickup in you know, a man. But I don't like all the engine be able. But we really got to do this move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a 2002 Honda Stream. This is the older version for the one I'm show you earlier in the video. You see, this one is for 355,000. You see, the street up at the back, you can tell the front of the vehicle here looking pretty okay ish. You see, the front grill right there, I don't know why the Honda sign panel lean, so I don't know if the mesh tear or I can't really tell you see, but the front paint does look relatively okay you see me can say it have the sunroof right there looking pretty good you see me the back here of the vehicle here looking pretty good it does have an aftermarket muffler right there you see me and the side of the vehicle here does look relatively okay it does have an spare wheel right there you see me and the back seat here looking pretty okay you see me and the front seat here look here looking pretty okay as far as we can tell but the driver's seat does have a tear right there and right there and it does look like say you're missing the door angle for the passenger side right there you see me so yeah the engine bay right here looking pretty okay you see me you don't know them under the engine i think this is the k20 i think it's the k20 i'm not entirely sure no man don't quote my pandas but it does look like the k20 engine you see me and the engine bay right here look a little bit clustered like everything will close up i don't know why them take the picture so but yeah we can't really tell nothing more and again i don't know what to say about this on the stream because at the end of the day it is a seven seater and i say if you want a seven seater and the price is three hundred and fifty five thousand, you probably could get it for like three bills flat but here is the contact number for this 2200 stream you see me selling for three hundred and fifty five thousand. but we just got to move on to the next one 
Oh, because here we have a 2002 Nissan Sunny. You see me, the person said everything works, good condition, AC work, everything. You see me, the price on this is 330 tons. You see me, but we are going to take a closer look at it and straight up for the back we can tell. So the front of the vehicle here looking relatively okay, no man. When I see signs of damage on the front of the vehicle there. The headlight on the vehicle is faded, no man. You see me, and the back here right here looking pretty okay. But it does look like I them edited for like hiding lights or plate or something right here. So it doesn't look like it actually have no damage right here. It just look like I them edit the picture for hiding lights and plate. You see me? But anyways, the back here does look pretty okay when I see no signs of damage is there. The side of the vehicle here looking relatively okay. We can say that means a little lighter for the fender right here, but not really major. You see me? And again, the back here looking pretty okay again. You see me? And the engine there right here looking a little bit dirty, like dirty. You see me? But not in a bad way when I see one bag of wire, I see one bag of eye. Just look a little bit dirty, you understand? So yeah, it does look pretty okay in the engine there to me, you see me? The seats are in okay condition, they look a little bit crack up, but I would live with that number car in and there's not no major tear in none of them thing there. You see me? Again, the seat does look a little bit crack up, but I would live with that though. You see me? So yeah, the dashboard looking pretty solid, like really clean, no signs of damage is there, no cracks, none of them thing there. You see me? And the back seat here right here looking, again, crack up, but I would live with that. You see me? So yeah, the front of the vehicle right here looking pretty okay, not not as usual right there. And they did not post any more pictures of this Nissan Sunny 7 for 330 total. But here is the contact numbers for this vehicle if you are interested. But we just have to move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a AD wagon. You see me? This one is the older version, and this is selling for three hundred and fifty thousand. You see me? So straight up at the back, we can tell the front of the vehicle right here looking relatively okay. The headlights are a little bit faded. I don't know why I'm going for the bumper right here. Look like somebody took a tin spray and spray some part of the bumper. Car look right there is pretty shine and right there. You see me? Me feel like say, that somebody do. But anyways, the front of the vehicle, does, vehicle does look pretty good. At least the bonnet does look pretty good as far as we can see. And the side of the vehicle here looking relatively okay. It's missing a fender light right there. You see me? But when I see other signs of damages, you see me and also we can say yo this look a water guys that thing over there is broken but besides from that again nothing where we can see the interior right here is looking surprisingly clean like very clean dashboard is looking pretty solid door cover is okay seats are dirty but Again, a little watch would probably fix that. And the engine bay right here is looking pretty okay. You see me, I did like it's looking pretty okay when I see signs of damage. It, it does look like somebody cleaned this engine bay. No man, can look at the top of the engine bay right here. Look, you see me, like I feel like somebody cleaned this engine bay. And even though them clean it, you can still see that the top of the engine is thin. You see me, so yeah, me don't, me don't know, me don't know. Me like, I care mechanic and make sure so the engine alright and fully up, up to date and everything. If me did interest in something like this, you see me. But yeah, the back here, the vehicle here looking relatively okay. We can see the back bumper right they have some holy pass cuff mark all over you see me but besides from that nothing really major you see me when i see a sinking and none of them thing there the side of the vehicle right here looking relatively okay as well again the little fender light is missing out of there you see me and they did not post any more pictures of this vehicle but we just have to move on to the next one okay so here we have a year 2000 toyota corona you see me? So this one is selling for 180000 but it looked like it sold already. We really did want to show you guys this vehicle, but it's a little bit too late when it comes down to it. But anyway, we just have to move on to the next one. Okay, so here we have a year 2006 boom. You see me? This one is selling for 450000 You see me? Which is a little bit high, man, because at the end of the day, you could get them a little bit cheaper. But we don't have to show you because it is available. But anyways, straight up at the back, we can see the front of the vehicle looking pretty good. Like the paint is looking real good and it does have some aftermarket wheels from the vehicle right there you see me the headlight look a little bit faded like really small like really slightly faded but we would live with that now maybe just a little buff and polish would that bring that back you see me the interior right here looking pretty good like really good as far as we can see seats are looking okay door cover is looking okay it does have some small small scuff mark on the door cover right here but we would live with that and the dashboard is looking pretty sturdy like really clean you see me the driver's door door cover does look a little bit beat up but maybe you could have probably sprayed the door cover right there and leave with it, you see me? The back of the vehicle here looking pretty good, not not the usual day, no signs of damage that we can see, you see me? And the side of the vehicle here looking pretty clean as well, like really smooth paint is looking really good, you see me? Not not the usual as far as we can see, and they did not post any more pictures of this vehicle. I hear what the owner had to say about the vehicle. Since the 2006 fuel efficient lady driven was my little starter car, now it can be yours.
Okay, so here we have a 2007 Nissan Tida. You see me, this one selling for 290,000. You see me, I did, and something that could be after them price. But what we are going to do, I take a closer look on it. You see me, so the engine bay. But what we are going to do, I do a little walk around first, and then we are going to just take a closer examination. You see me, so we are looking at the interior right now. You see me, I look at the seats and the dashboard. Look at the seats and the dashboard are looking in pretty good condition. You see me, the seats are looking okay. The back seat right there is looking pretty okay as well. You see me, not not at the usual there. You see me, I did. Yeah, man, so I don't know, I don't know. But over here, we are continuing. You see me, so the back area right side of the vehicle right here, we can see a small scuff mark right there, but that's not really major. You see me, and straight up, we can notice a yo, something off right here. We can see the seat isn't fully bolted down. Why is that? So we have to take a look in the back area to see if we can see why the seat isn't bolted up. We also can set up on a reverse camera right here, but we are still focused. You see me? And straight up right there, we can see a little bit of a rough mark right here. You see me? So this is surface rust, you know. This is not really major. You see me? I did every car have some amount of surface rust. You see me? But what we are going to look if we can find is every any serious rust spot. You see me? Rotten spot. You see me? Because that, that, that okay. So we are looking underneath here for any rotten spot. And as far as we can see we can see a rotten spot so far we only as a surface rust you see me so we are the world continue we are looking on the other side right here we can see any more damages from the vehicle you see me but the paint does look pretty good right there so we take a closer look at the engine there and right here we can notice say uh, yo the overflow bottle right here is broken you see me i did and right here you see me this kyle is not a tida kyle you can see it can't even sit on good night so then bitch up the kyle for going out for work that is not a tida kyle you see me i did more than likely i'm cut the wire for attach on that you see me so yeah look a little bit half you know man when it comes down to the engine they are be a little bitch up thing but what we are going to do a start up the ear or the engine sound you see me so the key in here okay and that is the ac compressor chipping in which is surprising all right Yeah. 